Hey Scrappers, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on using your cuddle bug and uh, using Sizzix dies with your cuddle bug. And I'm going to show you several different types of Sizzix dies. So we're going to start off with, um, first you would, to make your sandwich you need to put your B plate down. I recommend putting the one that has all the cuts in it, just so you don't mess up any of your other plates. So we got the B plate. And then whatever paper that you're using, and I'm going to use this uh, red embossing paper, this embossed paper um, that I embossed with in one of my other tutorial videos using my um, Zyron Creatopia. So we're going to put that sheet down and then we're going to put the die foam side down and then you can you just put it wherever you want it to go. Line it up with your paper and um, a little tip is that the actual die itself you're gonna want it probably in the center of the actual plate that way it leaves a giveaway on either side of the plate on either side of the dies and the plates then you take your second B plate and you're gonna put that on top and then all you have to do is just run it through and it'll be just a little snug just just perfect it won't be hard when you hear that sound that little clicking sound it's okay you didn't um, break anything and then you have your now you have your pattern or you, you have the pattern but you also have your little uh, design I'll do one more um, I'll do one more on a different now this is thicker cardstock. The other one was just regular thin paper, so you, it doesn't matter. You can also use these with chipboard. I don't have any chipboard right now, so um, you know, forgive me. I, I have some chipboard, but it, I, it's for a person I'm swapping with, so I, I can't use it for this. But um, I believe you can. If you look up on the Sizzix website, it'll tell you all the stuff that you can actually cut with them. Um, so again, you put your B plate down, you put your cardstock, then you put your die, and then you're gonna stick the next B plate right on top. And now you have your sandwich. You just run it right through. And then, there you go. There's your lovely picture frame. Now, if also, if you would have centered it on a sheet of paper, you know, that's more centered than what I did, you would also have a second frame. So you can use scrap paper or, you know, just cut a sheet out so you can get two things out of your Sizzix die. Now I'm going to show you how to use the thinner Sizzix dies. And there are um, two different kinds. There are the Sizzlitz dies, <clears throat> and there, um, and then there's also the uh, embosslet dies, and the embosslet dies are just like this. They um, cut and emboss all in one, and it's like a little folder. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work with the Sizzlitz die first, and these are considered thin dies. However, they are still thicker than um, what the cuddle bug considers a thin die. So um, it's it's like an in between a thin die and then a steel rule die. So I'll show you how to sandwich that. And uh, first, you would use your um, your A plate. I'm gonna stick that in there. And then you're gonna have um, your B plate. Now um, you can use depending on which way you've got the die facing, whether it's down or up. I would recommend putting it, um, I normally use mine um, down versus up, but it says with the thin dies to have them facing up. But I would use mine down. So, I'm going to put the one that has all the cutting on it next. And then you would, since, since I'm putting it down, you would next put your paper. Now I have a sheet of paper already. Okay, I have this really pretty green paper. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick that on there. 
I'm going to find a spot for my die to go. It really doesn't matter where. As long as you have enough space to actually cut out your image. And then um, in the manual it says to put the C plate. But I found that the C plate is too thick. So what I do is I use the shim and the B plate. And the shim is, is a very small piece of like um, cardstock or paper. Um, either way, regular paper will work. And you can find that, and I know in the cuddle bugs, sometimes it varies very slightly. So you might want to change the thickness. You just have to play with it a little bit. But with mine, I put down just a little thin piece of paper. And you'd be surprised how much of a difference that little paper will make on how easy it is to to pull out your image from the paper. So we're going to just run this through. It's a little, it's a lot snugger than using the, um, than your other one. But that's okay. That is. Now all you have to do, you see there's the image that we were punching out, but it comes out a lot easier if you use that little shim. If you don't use that shim, it leaves just little, just little bits and pieces that you have to kind of rip. Like when, um, if you would buy, like, punch outs at, from, a, from the craft store, especially those thin paper punch outs, and those, you know, you, sometimes you end up ripping them, so I always recommend putting a shim. And then, there's your really pretty leaf. So, that is using the Sizzlitz die. <clears throat> and now we are going to use the embosslet die. Now I found with my embosslet, it's roughly the same thickness as a sizzlet die, so you also want to use a shim. Now, although I do recommend using a thinner shim, so I'm just going to use a really thin piece of uh, just some regular paper. So I'm going to find my sheet of paper that I'm going to use. I had one and I don't know where it went. Okay, so let's see if this is big enough. No, it isn't. Okay, we're just going to use... Um, Now you can, it doesn't matter if you have it, um, we're just going to use this paper right here. And it doesn't matter if it's bigger than, than the die itself, as long as it fits inside your cuddle bug. That's all that matters. So, with this, it's the same thing. You put your A plate down, you put your B plate down, and it doesn't matter which B plate, because all the cutting happens inside. And I actually like these better than the cuddle bug, um cut and embossed dies because this does it all in one and so you don't have to you know reline it up try to do the embossing okay and then you're gonna stick this this little sandwich right there and then you're also gonna take your little shim and just I just put it right on top of that and then you're gonna go ahead with your um, with your B plate if you find that it moves too easily, all you have to do is add a shim. No need for that. We'll just put it right through. And, and see now, looking at it, it cut, but I didn't use th a thick enough shim. So, we're going to add a thicker shim. Same shim I used in the last one. I don't have very long, so we're going to try this one more time. I'm going to use this with the black cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and make my sandwich. It's my little thicker die. There we go. I'm not going to punch it out, but you can see it right there. 
I'm running out of time. Thanks for watching. Happy scrapping. Bye.